Hey, this is Robot and Silent Mike with another video for supertraining.tv. This time with some upper body exercises. Uh, this is on a uh, dynamic uh, bench day for us. So we already challenge. finished some of our dynamic upper body work. Um, we just benched against chains. Now here's some of our accessories we do. Still got the chains on the bar. This is a three board bench press with We're the slingshot with the that I'm doing. Uh, my reason for doing this is um, I feel like the slingshot helps keep me in a groove. Uh, I'm using a close grip to really hit the triceps hard. And I feel like the slingshot kind of helps prevent me from flaring out and putting the stress on other muscles. Here's a uh, back workout that we do sometimes. Uh, we do these rows often, the hammer strength rows, but just to change it up a little bit, we added some bands. It's me, Robot, and Big Bird, I believe. This was a, an idea from Big Bird, who will be the next to go. It really is just a way to make it difficult um, and a slightly different stimulus. There's Big Bird rowing like a madman, or should I say a mad bird? Mad bird disease. And here's Michael. I think this is our uh, first exercise after our, we bench, so we're still had a little bit of energy in us, so we went pretty heavy. So it just goes to show that uh, you can add bands to pretty much anything. And here's me demoing some band external rotations. I've been doing these a lot lately. Uh, I like the way they hit my external rotators. Um, the range of motion is not too huge, but trust me, do enough of them and you'll feel it. We often do these for uh, warm-ups too on bench days. Just some dislocates and different uh, pull apart variations. You'll notice I went from using two strands of band to one. And got yoke? I like to think so. Next we go into uh, some overhead work with a cambered bar. Um, a lot of guys in the gym um, you know, have mixed feelings about overhead work. I'm a big fan, being raw especially I feel. Uh, and this just adds a huge uh, stability component to it. I wouldn't know, I never do these. <laughs> I think it was uh, me, good old Irish Ed and Big Bird getting in on these today. The weight um, probably isn't as important. I don't think I went much above 130, uh, if that. Here's a different way to set up uh, the bands for some tricep extensions. Uh, here's kind of a video of the setup, and I'm going to start demoing it first. I actually uh, ripped this off of uh, a video posted by AJ Roberts from when he was at Westside. So what this band setup is going to do is normally an extension is e easiest at the top and hardest at the bottom, but this is going to make it so it's also just as difficult at the top. You see I've uh, started adding a pause for some of the later reps just to uh, really work that top uh, end range of motion. We didn't overdo the arm work this day, I think. We just did a couple sets here and maybe a little, uh, some hammer curls to end the day. <clears throat> Speak for yourself, I think I overdid it just fine. <laughs> These are pretty difficult, like um, Robot said, the setup's a little different, resistance is a little different. Um, just uh, something different we do from a, just a regular curl bar. Yeah, uh, play around with the band setup till you get the tension that you feel is right for you. And I think that's it. Thanks guys.